Hey there, Sunrise family. Welcome back to The Bridge Online, an awesome place for 5th and 6th graders to hang out, have fun, and learn about God. Noah, are you happy? Yeah. Pretty happy? Sure. Are you sure? Maybe. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're happy, because a lot of us sometimes aren't. And sometimes it has to do with how we feel about what we have. You see, when you want more and more and more, whatever you have is never enough. Wanting more and more can make you miserable. And we're not meant to be miserable. So, we need to rely on God to make us content with what we have so we can find happiness in Him. Let's dive right in. Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this is my Bible. Yo, it's 66 books that fit together to form one big story of how God created us. And he loves us so much that he has given us everything that we need to live a joyful life. He even gave us his very own son, Jesus. When we learn to be okay with what we have, we discover true contentment. And I have four stories to show us what it looks like when someone chooses contentment and when they don't. We get started way in the New Testament, in the book of Philippians. There we go. Okay, here, the Apostle Paul shares with the believers in Philippi what he's learned about choosing contentment. I have learned to be content no matter what happens to me. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Now, when Paul says he's content no matter what, you gotta remember, the man has been put in prison, he's been stoned, robbed, whipped, betrayed by his own people, and even shipwrecked. Whew. Now let's take a look at someone in the Old Testament who definitely needs a dose of contentment. Here, King Ahab of Samaria has everything he could ever want, except a nice little veggie garden near the palace. There's just one catch. That patch of land belongs to a man named Naboth, and he's not selling. Instead of taking no for an answer, King Ahab pitches a royal tantrum, and the way he uses his royal powers proves he's the whiniest evil supervillain. Moving back to Exodus, we meet up with the Israelites. God has led his people out of slavery in Egypt and into freedom in the desert. Time to celebrate, right? Except the Israelites, they can't seem to do anything but whine and complain about the lack of a four-star menu. And when God provides surprise food from heaven, they simply find something new to grumble about. Let's wrap up in the New Testament with another letter from Paul. All right, here, Paul reminds the believers in Corinth that no matter what they've been through, they always have something to give. Brothers and sisters, we want you to know about the grace that God has given to the churches in Macedonia. They have suffered a great deal, but in their suffering, their joy was more than full. Even though they were very poor, they gave very freely. They did more than we expected. Do you ever feel like you don't have much? There's always someone nearby who needs your smile, your words, or even your listening ear. When you choose to be okay with what you have, you've learned the secret of true contentment. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.
is nice. Nice. Yeah, it's so peaceful. You, you think this is peaceful? <laughs> Who would have thought that riding a bike would be so easy? Uh, what are you? Are you even? You're not pedaling? No! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do oh, I'm half crazy. Oh. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. You know what I love about you, Brandon? Uh, how I'm such a faithful friend. <laughs> no. I love the way you look at the camera after I've done something amazing. Oh. But yeah, yeah, like you're speechless in my presence because of, of how awesome I am. It's... Yeah, it's just like that. See, he's doing it right now. Okay, if you need me to tone down my awesomeness, you just let me know so, so you don't feel overwhelmed by it. Just, just, just let me know. I think I can manage. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I mean, we could, we could come up with a secret code word like grapefruit. You know, anytime you say the word, I'll know to be less distractingly amazing. Okay, fine. Grapefruit. Well, well it can't be grapefruit now. Why not? Well, because I said, I just told you it's a secret code word. It's secret. Yeah, but if it's a secret from you, how will you know I'm saying it? Uh, it's all part of the code. It's maybe. There. <laughs> I just love that about you, Brandon. Yeah, makes me feel good. It's time for someone who knows stuff. so much for having me on the show today. Yeah. I was totally starting to run out of new content ideas for my feeds. Oh. Your, your what? Your feeds? Yes. Uh, you know, on social. Sysoc, a media post, hair book. Yeah, Cassie's what they call an influencer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, let's do that again. Ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! Yeah. Brandon, ready? Okay. Oh! oh unless, yes. Wait, do I do the sideways? It's or? okay. It's too late. They I'm love film videos. At... Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so what, uh, yeah, wait, you're not posting that, are you? Oh, it's already done. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, <gasps> already have some likes. Already? That mm -hmm. fast? Yeah, yeah, and the faster the better, right, Cass? Uh, yep. I need likes immediately in order to get more than my influencer rival, Social Sal the Gal Pal. Oh. oh. So, hey, so, Cassie, before we go any further, for the sake of our viewers, tell us who you are and what you know. Oh, I'm Cassie. My awesome cousin. That's right. And like John said, I'm an online influencer. I post videos, photos, blogs, tutorials, quotes, pretty much anything else that you can think of. Wow. Say cheese. Oh, oh gouda, 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 oh, gouda, gouda, gouda. <laughs> so you do this to, to what? To inspire people? Uh, yes, that. Oh, plus, it's because I get tons of likes. Oh. <laughs> uh, the video of me and you, Brandon, it has 200 likes already. See? 200? Yeah, but I need more. I mean, you know what they say. More is more. <laughs> no, I think the phrase is less is more. Whatever. More is more. Quote for the hour check. <laughs> okay, so, so what kinds of things do you post about? Hold for hashtags. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. I pretty much post about everything. You know, food, sports, cute animals, beauty tips, homework tips, basically whatever I'm doing in the moment. So today, it's the so-and-so show! All right. Say hi! All right. Hey guys, oh. I'm at the so-and-so show. Check it out. This is a really cool place. Look at that basketball hoop. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, lockers. 1985 much? <laughs> no big deal. Oh, wow. Check out this. This cool lamp. Don't get into my video. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, look at this, guys. What are you doing, John? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, hashtag follow, like, subscribe. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Ah! Social Sal the Gal Pal has a video with 3,000 likes already. Uh, my high five fail video only has 1,500 likes. She has doubled me. I mean, what else can I do? What else can oh, I do? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know what, Cassie? Maybe you could just stop using the phone for a little bit. More likes. Uh, okay. Hey, maybe we should just move into... Costumes. 
What? Brilliant. Uh, How did you? Everyone likes an unexpected costume change. Say cheese! Oh, go to go to go to. <laughs> Cassie, we really shouldn't move. No, on. everyone laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, laugh. Um, uh, we need more. Maybe we should do a video of us dancing. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Brandon, show us your moves. <laughs> Grapefruit. Huh? Grapefruit. Oh, good. Uh, it's it's Bubble Story Time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi, Kellen. Hey, Cassie. We just started Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen is the best. And if I'm lucky, maybe he'll even ask me to help him tell the Bible story today. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Cassie does a lot of posts online. Oh, cool. So what do you say, Kellen? Can I help? My followers are waiting. I'll get more likes if you let me. I just hit 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. <gasps> I'd love your help, Cassie. But you'd have to be off your phone. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. You should be off your phone. Yeah, no, just you give me a little. Let me hashtag no, 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 this. No, no, no. Let me hashtag no, it. Just, Please, just, 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 just let it go. Just let me try no, one. No, 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 no. You're my cousin. <gasps> Looks like we're ready to help. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> King Ahab was the king of Israel. Hello, I am Ahab, your king. King of Israel, that is me. <laughs> king Ahab's palace was close to a beautiful vineyard. <gasps> Woo! Look at that vineyard over there. <gasps> it would be a perfect place to grow my vegetables. I want it. I want it! <laughs> I won't. But the vineyard belonged to a man named Naboth. Oh, oh. Do more cardio. Oh, Naboth! The king has come to see you! <laughs> oh, um, Your Royal Highness! Yes. Oh, thank you. Welcome to my vineyard. Well, your vineyard is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> and it's awfully close to my palace. <laughs> oh, yes, it's been here for generations. Oh, that's nice. I want it. You, what, my vineyard? Yes, I'll trade you a better vineyard for it. Or, <laughs> or if you prefer, I'll pay you what it's worth. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, may the Lord keep me from giving you the land that, that my family handed down to me. No. Uh. No. Right, no. Oh. What? <laughs> no one's ever said no to me before. <laughs> so Ahab went home very upset that Naboth wouldn't give him the vineyard. He laid in his bed and he wouldn't even eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm in a bad mood. Now Ahab's wife Jezebel came to check on him. Why are you in such a bad mood? Why won't you eat anything? Because I talked to Naboth and he won't sell me his vineyard and I want it, I want it. Is this how the king of Israel acts? Yes. <laughs> Eat something, it'll make you feel better, or I'll go get your vineyard. You will? Yes. <gasps> Yay! Thank you! Yay! Jumping on the bed. So Jezebel wrote some letters in Ahab's name and stamped them with his royal seal. Announce a day when people are supposed to go without eating and have Nabal sit in an important place among the people. Hmm. Oh, put two evil men in seats across from him. Have them accuse Naboth of cursing God and the king. Oh, yes, that's good. Uh, then take Naboth out of the city 
and kill him! Ooh! <laughs> Everything Jezebel wanted to happen, happened. Naboth was killed, and the word got back to Jezebel. Get up! Go take over the vineyard of Naboth! The one he wouldn't sell me? Yep. But how? He's dead. Oh, so sad. But yay for me! Ah, to the vineyard! My vineyard! A deep, deep, deep. I'll go into the vineyard. A deep, deep, deep. Yay! It seemed like Ahab got everything he wanted. But then a message from the Lord came to a prophet of God named Elijah. God told Elijah to go see Ahab. Ah, the sweet smell of getting what I want. <laughs> Good afternoon. I know you. You're that prophet in Elijah. What, what do you want? The Lord says, haven't you murdered a man? Technically? I... Haven't you taken over his property? Well, that's a little harsh. Dogs licked up Naboth's blood. In that same place, dogs will lick up your blood. Huh? That's right. I said your blood! <laughs> yeah. Ahab let himself be consumed by wanting more and more for himself. His actions made God very angry, and God eventually took away the throne from Ahab and his children. The end. Wow. Rough story, Kellen. Yeah, things got ugly really fast. But sometimes things can get out of hand when we find ourselves wanting more and more. You know, Jesus once said, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. So we shouldn't ever want things? Well, I don't think Jesus meant that. But if you do want something so bad, that it's making you miserable, or if it's making you do something that you know is wrong. There are more important things in life than stuff. More important than followers, or views, or likes. Definitely. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, Cassie, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. I think I need to change my quote for the hour. Okay, you sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Be grateful for what you have. More is not always more. Hey, that's awesome, Cass. Oh, and it gives me a great idea for a question. Reveal the question. Oh, yes. What can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? Yeah, like Kellen said, you can ask God to help you think about something else. Or uh, you can focus on what someone else wants instead of focusing on just what you want. Or, or you can do what Cassie wrote. Find a way to be grateful for what you have. Don't, don't worry about what you don't have. True. And I may not have as many likes as Social Style the Gal Pal, but I inspire plenty of people with the things that I post. You know what? You inspire me for sure. I... Like you! Ah, ding, 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 ding! ding. <laughs> How would you answer the question? What can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Cassie. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yeah, it yes, was. it was. I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? <laughs> <laughs>